And in terms of people in harm's way, American forces in the Middle East are quite literally caught in the crossfire. Um, there is no other way to think about uh, this story as we are on the eve of a potential regional war in the Middle East, that if you have a son, a daughter, parent, spouse, uh, who wears the American military uniform, tonight is a scary night. If they happen to be stationed here uh, in the Middle East, it is a sleepless night. The attack from Iran flew over a lot of U.S. bases. There were a lot of U.S. assets used in terms of trying to stop the attack. Uh, we had some of the Iranian drones that flew over. They fly at about 110 miles an hour. Uh, they're propeller-powered, cheaply made. Uh, then there were the ballistic missiles that flew directly from Iran. We have that, uh, that northern trajectory that came down. Interestingly enough, both Jordan and Saudi Arabia uh, were opening their airspace to the United States uh, to try and stop this. This shows you there's been a, really a political uh, redrawing of the map in the Middle East over just the past uh, 72 hours uh, or so as we, we knew this was going to happen. For the first time, uh, perhaps since the 1973 war, um, since the Yom Kippur War, Israel was attacked north to south. Um, we saw attacks come in uh, all the way down here in Alat, uh, which is the southern port city, um, and then as far north as Haifa, obviously Tel Aviv and Jerusalem uh, as well were in the crosshairs. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.